everyone, my name is Ava and I'm an American living in the Netherlands. And the subject of today's video is birthdays. Who doesn't love birthdays? The answer to that is me ever since I turned 21. But that aside, I have discovered that there are some differences between how birthdays are celebrated across the world because as some of you might know, I actually lived in India for some time and I'm American, so I moved from America to the Netherlands and I've also seen more differences there. But I wouldn't expect differences between the US and the Netherlands when it came to birthdays because you know you could expect differences between India and America but differences between the US and the Netherlands, I did not see that coming. Also, it has to do with something like birthdays. Wouldn't you think that there was only one way to celebrate birthdays? There really, really isn't. That's the answer. And some of these differences might sneak up on you. You should ask my girlfriend when she, she's Dutch, and when she lived in the US for five years, she definitely made some mistakes and had no idea how to deal with birthdays in the US. And it was something she definitely talked to me about because she was also confused by the differences in culture. So without further ado, let us start off with what to expect when you are at a Dutch birthday party. And Americans, if you're in the Netherlands, you will immediately notice that this is very different. First of all, generally speaking, when you enter a room in the Netherlands, you have to mwah, 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 give everybody those three kisses. No different on birthdays. In fact, it would be extremely rude if you walked into someone's birthday party and didn't give them the nice three kisses that they deserve. Unless you know them really well, then you do one and make sure you match the amount of kisses they're going for, otherwise it's all very awkward. So when you come in and after you do the three kisses, guess what you will find? You will find that everybody is sitting in a circle. I have never seen any other shape at a birthday party. And sometimes if I've arrived early, I've noticed that a couple of people are standing and then it doesn't look like a circle. It just looks like what I'm used to in the US, which is people just gather in crowds and smaller groups. But then the moment like a fifth or sixth person joins, you form a circle and the circle just keeps getting bigger. At some point people will give up and then they'll just grab chairs and actually arrange them in a circle. I'm not kidding. As if you're about to play a game of hot potato or something. Oh no. So people will then neatly arrange themselves in a circle. And one thing you need to know is that when you're greeting people coming in, you know, before you take your seat in the circle, you want to make sure that in addition to wishing the birthday person, happy birthday, you also want to wish everybody else or the people that are close to this birthday person, a happy birthday. Now the Dutch word for happy birthday, there's so much to unpack here. So let's start with the Dutch word for happy birthday is gefeliciteerd, which is congratulations. So in the US, you really wouldn't say congratulations. You would say happy birthday. And saying congratulations is a bit odd because if you congratulate me on my birthday, I'm going to be like, what did I do? What did I do to deserve this congrats? And I'll uh, sit there trying to think of some momentous occasion that has happened because Having a birthday is just getting older. It's very passive. You're not doing anything, but I feel like the Dutch really want to celebrate this, right? Like, congratulations. You survived another year of your life. You didn't die. Great for you. We're all happy you're here. So it's really that congratulations that you want to kick in on someone's birthday. And as I mentioned, you don't just want to congratulate the person whose birthday it is. Yes. Congratulations. Not say happy birthday necessarily. You want to also congratulate that person's friends, and family because, well, it's a special occasion for the friends and family too. So you just walk in and you congratulate them. And it sounds like, again, sounds like you did, they did something really special, but no, it's just a special occasion. And you say, congratulations. So I really had to get used to this because if you don't do this, it's extremely rude. And to the point where at one point my girlfriend told me that it was her grandma's birthday, uh, this was a couple of years ago. And I, I just said, oh, that's nice. Thank you for letting me know. And then she thought it was the rudest thing ever because she was like, you know, you need to know <laughs> if we're going to be in this relationship that if I tell you it's a family member's birthday or a friend's birthday, you need to say gefeliciteerd or happy birthday because otherwise I will be offended. And it was such a instinctive reaction for her because as I mentioned, she is familiar with American culture. You know what she did when she was in the US? 
she walked in to a birthday party of a friend's boyfriend. So when she greeted the friend at the birthday party, she said, congratulations, just out of nowhere. And the friend, she tells me, my girlfriend tells me, thought it was the weirdest thing. So, you know, she didn't say happy birthday. She said congratulations instead, and she wished the wrong person. So she did everything wrong. Here, it is so ingrained in the culture that you wish people's friends and family that sometimes my girlfriend will receive texts on my birthday saying, happy birthday with Ava or congratulations. And I just think it's extremely cute. Now, in the US, we don't do this, and I wonder what it signifies. To me, if I think about this, I think in Dutch culture then, this tells me that someone's birthday is seen as a communal event. It's not just that it's that person turning older and we celebrate that person's year of life. Everybody around that person and who is important to that person also has a reason to celebrate. So I think that's really very nice. Okay, so uh, fellow internationals watching this, now you know that when you come to a Dutch birthday, you know what to do up until the point where you know you take that initial seat but maybe there is a birthday cake. How are you going to deal with that? Here's some things you need to know. The birthday cake in the Netherlands may not look like the birthday cake in some other places. In America, when you have a birthday cake, it has a lot of icing on it. You typically have the happy birthday written on it with the person's name and so on. So it really is a thing and there is something called a birthday cake. However, in the Netherlands, there's no such thing called a birthday cake. There's no specific type of cake that people have in mind. So you can expect just about anything. But of course, when you cut the birthday cake, this is the same in the US and in the Netherlands, you want to sing the birthday song. Now, no one prepares you for the Dutch birthday song. Oh, I wish they had because the American birthday song, the English birthday song is you're all familiar with happy birthday, but you know, in the Netherlands, the song is extremely, extremely piped with energy. So people are screaming, shouting, and it goes something like long sauce leven, long sauce leven. And it really just, there's a lot of um, clapping, you know, the English one has clapping too, but this is, it's a lot of clapping. And then it ends with people shouting hurrah, hurrah, three times um, with the hip hip hip. And if there's a big group of people, this is really fun. And um, if there's a smaller group of people, the lippity beep hurrah gets a bit awkward because one person needs to do one part and the other is the other. But that said, basically that's the song, but there are also other songs. So you can just experience, I, I was amazed the first time I saw this. There's so many songs and then just keep singing at that fast tempo and with all that enthusiasm. And you know, in America, we're like, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Whereas here, no, 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 that, I don't, I don't know how to explain this difference because I feel like I have had repressed birthday parties now when you come to the Netherlands and you see people just going all out. You would think you were at a football game, just out of control. Okay, so that is in my experience what Dutch birthday parties are like. But now I wanna tell you some more general things, even outside of a birthday party, that you need to be aware of if you are international and that I had to learn, of course. So one of the biggest differences I've noticed is that in the US, if it's your birthday, you are the one getting all the treats. I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but I'm going to talk about it more because the difference is very important. So in the US, you are the one that gets all the treats. People are extremely nice to you, buying you stuff. They get you a cake on your birthday. In the Netherlands, you have to throw the party. You have to treat other people. So for instance, at your work in the Netherlands, you would bring cake to work. In the US, maybe at work, people will get you a cake if they felt like it, if it was a special birthday or something. And especially if you work at a smaller place. I've had that happen to me in the US. And here I have been able to avoid it being my birthday at work thanks to COVID, but it is coming up next month and guessing if I go into work, I have to bring a cake. So that is very different. Also, when it comes to your social life, I feel like Dutch people are gonna find this very strange, but in America, because you are the one that gets all the treats, is being treated, um, if you go out to a bar, let's say you're celebrating your birthday at a bar, people will be buying you drinks all night or buying you stuff. You typically don't have to pay. 
And even when you go out to a restaurant, you typically don't end up paying because it's your birthday. In the Netherlands, if you go out to a restaurant with people, you kind of have to manage other people's expectations if you're not going to pay for their bill because people just expect if you invite them to the bar or to go out that you will pay for something. In America, the fact that you as the birthday person don't do anything is so strongly entrenched in American culture that if it's your birthday and you want to have a birthday party, you might even just, instead of just inviting people to your birthday party, it is not uncommon for people to mention to their friends, this is especially common among younger folks, to just mention in the group like, I would really like to have a party for my birthday this year. And then your friends have to be like, oh, 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 okay, hint noted, the person wants a birthday party and then they start organizing it for you. Because in a, so I, feel, I really think this is more of a younger person thing. I can imagine that if I were in the US now, I would just have something, a party for my birthday and that's fine. But I think when I was younger, I've done this and other people have done this where your friends would just say, so I would really like to have a party for my birthday and then you would have to throw this party because the birthday person doesn't do that. The friends of the birthday par person does it because the birthday person is so loved that their friends are throwing them a party. So this is really a thing. Okay, and finally, I wanna talk a little bit about birthday milestones because even those are different in the US and the Netherlands. So in the US, uh, you have your sweet 16 or quinceanera, sweet 15, if you have a Latin background, and these are both extremely common in the US. And you also then have your 21st birthday, and that is a really big deal because that's when you can drink. And in the Netherlands, of course, you can drink much earlier. So that big milestone is when you're 18 and that's typically celebrated at different points. I feel like 21, I'm used to it because I'm American and it really only celebrates that you can drink, but it is this big deal that now you're 21, you're an adult, that's great. It says a little bit about Americans and how long it takes them to grow up. But uh, in the Netherlands, that's 18. And I think 18 is quite nice because you either, you're done with school, maybe you're starting to work, you know, that's the age where lots of things happen. Whereas in the US, lots of things happen at 18 as well, like you can vote, but the drinking thing happens at 21 and 21 is a big deal. You've probably seen this in lots of movies and shows, etc. But in America, the milestones kind of stop at 21, but in the Netherlands, oh no, you continue. So a huge milestone comes up when you're 50. And at 50, there's a whole thing in the Netherlands that you could see in people's houses, etc. Like you know someone is turning 50 because when they turn 50, they see Sarah or Abraham. Yeah, it makes no sense to me either. But what that <laughs> means in practice, so what that literally translates to, is that they, the fan, friends and family of the person turning 50 will make a blow up doll or a huge paper mache doll or some kind of like life size, huge, figure of the person uh, and like bring it to their birthday party so you might see that in people's yards. Yeah, I know, my girlfriend told me for her dad's 50th, she made this huge paper mache head of uh, a really old person that was a caricature of him and he didn't like that apparently. So you know, if you're 50, you may get a paper mache head or a big blow up, blow up doll of you and there's this big party and celebration and how cute is that? So in the US, it's like 21 and your life doesn't exist anymore, apparently. And in the Netherlands at 50, you have this big milestone. For those lucky people who get to turn 100, there is another surprise in the Netherlands. In some municipalities, the mayor actually visits your house. And then finally, at the age of 100, someone gets you a cake and it is the mayor. They may come to your house, get varies by municipality but they may come to your house with cake. I can imagine that with the rising life expectancy, that is keeping the mayors quite busy. I wonder in practice how many cakes they have to deliver a year. So that was what I wanted to share with you today about birthdays in the Netherlands. As usual, if you have anything to add or anything to say at all, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. As always, until next time,